Hockey is, and I'm going to let him share his story with you because the story is really interesting, so I don't want to steal his thunder. But if you would help me with a round of applause to welcome uh, Tim with us today for the next year. You have no idea how happy I am to be. Someone once told me if you set yourself on fire, the world will come and see you burn. Well, when I sleep, I'm simmering. You know, you turn the stove on simmering. That's how I am when I sleep. When I wake up, it's like somebody took a bucket of gasoline and poured it on inside. Every day, all day. I am allergic to sleep. I do not like to sleep. You know why? I don't want to rust out. I want to wear out. I had a goal a long time ago to speak at a college. And let me tell you something about goals. If you know how to achieve your goal, it's not a goal. Let me tell you why that was a goal so far out in the stratosphere that it's unbelievable. When I was in high school, my high school counselor told me, Timothy, you are not college material. I want to jump up and down. Thank you. I don't want to go to college. Call my grandmother and tell her what I said. Because my grandmother told me, you going to college. And you know why I know you're going? I'm going to pay for it. I said, I'm not going. I don't care how much you spend, I'm not going. I didn't want to, my, my, my theme was this. When I graduate high school, that's it. I'm done. Y'all can have the studying and books. I never took books home. So let me explain something to you. Environment is more important than heredity. Where I grew up in my former years was Michigan. Really, really bad. It was a murder capital at one time. And then I moved here in high school. I didn't like it, moved back to Michigan. Then I came back again. I graduated here in Mobile. In my neighborhood in Michigan and in here in Mobile, we didn't take books home. You were nervous, you got beat up. Especially in Michigan. You took books home, you got chased home, you just you didn't do it. So I didn't do a lot of stuff. So my grades reflected that. So my grandmother, we were arguing when I was in high school. You going to college? So I'm not going. Why do you want to spend money on somebody that is not college material? You know what she told me? That counselor does not know what you're capable of. I said, well, she got my grades. She got the transcripts. She's a counselor. If she don't know, who knows? She said, you haven't applied yourself. That's why you're getting graded here. She said, you're going to college, and that's it. So I'm going to the school and tell the counselor. So every day, this is what we did. We are. One day, her and my grandfather came up with this idea. They said, I tell you what, if you go to college, come home with good grades, and graduate, we'll buy you a new home. Say it again. <laughs> See, we hadn't talked about no new cars. <laughs> Okay, hold on a second. They were in the dining room, I went to my bedroom, got in the mirror. I said, okay. I came back and I said, okay, got a deal. Shook my grandmother's hand. Shook my grandfather's hand. He said, you got a deal. Going back out, I want that new car. So I started, now I gotta figure out, I gotta go to college. Where do I go? What did I say? I'm not going for you. So I took the easier. I'm gonna go two years, two and a half years. My thinking was computers was gonna be everything. See, you gotta think about this. In 1987, I was in high school. Think about the year 2000. Me and my friends were talking about, man, we're gonna have cars, we're gonna be flying. See, back then, it was well, the year 2000. Right now, think about the year 2027. Imagine what you're going to be doing as far as cars. 
that's how we were thinking back then. 